Welcome back to Prominence 2 RPG. Last time we got ready for the Fallen Icon by beating the old champion and whatever that thing was that possessed the old champion. And now we're ready to move on to the Fallen Icon, but I had this insane idea of doing that in outer space. So we went to the moon, which I don't think is necessarily the best place to do an epic battle, mostly because the spacesuit's not very strong. We'll take a look at those things in this episode. I think we will go maybe all the way to the end of Ad Astra to find the best possible battleground to take on the Fallen Icon. But we're gonna use Applied Energistics to speed through Ad Astra, get to all the planets, plan out our attack on the Fallen Icon. Stick around. Our primary objective here is to get to all of the planets in Ad Astra as quickly as possible. We've already been to the moon with a tier one rocket made with steel. and We've discovered Dash there, which allows us to make the tier two rocket and get to Mars. And on Mars, we're going to find Ostrom in order to get to Venus and Mercury. In these planets, we apparently can find Calorite, which is going to allow us to craft the tier four rocket, get into the Proxima Centauri solar system and the Glacio planet. Apparently it's very cold, but it has oxygen. I don't know. That feels like it might be a good place to fight a massive undead boss since the undead boss is probably not going to be affected by the lack of oxygen on the other planets where I will be. So if in that fight, my suit gets damaged, I'm toast. So maybe Glacio might be the best place to do that. In the process, we're going to probably skip over a bunch of content, like going to space stations, making an inhabitable base on these planets with oxygen distributors. There is a netherite spacesuit, has fire resistance, and will allow us to survive on Venus and Mercury. But what I'm really excited about is this jet suit, which is an upgraded netherite spacesuit, which allows high speed flight. So that's the overall game plan. Let's head upstairs to the NASA workstation. Oh, and also I've had a few questions in the comments about how I was teleporting up and down in my base. I'm using the quartz elevator, which is a really easy mod. You just have these elevator blocks on each floor and jump or crouch. Really great. Now I mentioned in the intro that I am going to be using applied energistics to make these rockets. And I've done that with a pattern provider on this NASA workbench. And now, because it's like a special crafting table where we have to put things in their own spots, so we can't automatically just dump things into the workbench and have them go into the right spots. But I do have a pattern provider on here with the ingredients for the rockets. And if I craft these things, it will dump them in here, and then I can just move them around. I'll show you that in a second. But let's take a look at what it's going to take to make these rockets. So we've already made the tier one rocket. And if I hit craft here, you've got all the ingredients. And if I click start, it dumps them through the pattern provider into here. And now I can just move them around. I do have to cancel this crafting job. So that's an easy way to discover all the ingredients you need for a complicated craft, even though you can't actually craft it with applied energistics. Let's take a look at the tier two rocket, which we do need to make next. We already got 22 dash ingots from our trip to the moon last time, but we need 45 more. That's all we need to make this tier two rocket. I don't know, that seems pretty doable. Let's take a look at the tier three rocket. For this we need 67 Ostrom ingots. And everything else is just steel. I don't know, that also seems pretty doable. If we just tear apart uh, Mars to get Ostrom. And then uh, for the next tier four rocket, same thing, 67 Calorite ingots. And we're on our way to Glacio. Seems pretty reasonable to me. We just have to do some major mining. Remember we have these hammers. I've got one right here. This reinforced hammer, which does a five by five by one area. I'm thinking I want to do a five by five by five area. I'm looking for these ores on these planets. It just seems like that might be a good way to do it. And that's a destructor hammer. To make a diamond destructor hammer, that's a lot of diamonds. It occurred to me that I don't actually need to make diamond because the difference between all these different levels of destructor hammers is really just their uh, durability. To solve that problem, we can make a hardening catalyst. If we apply this thing, anything, it'll make it unbreakable. It's pretty expensive, but we have these things. Downstairs, I haven't emptied these chests yet, but I think I've got some shulker shells do. So we can make a hardening catalyst. There we go, this is pretty amazing. So this basically makes anything unbreakable. Now if I put this, if I put that on this almost broken reinforced hammer, I'm not sure what would happen. I think I'm just going to keep this. I'm going to make this gold one. It's gold destructor hammer. Still pretty expensive, but it's about half the diamonds. 
Did it already make it? It did. This thing's gonna mine five by five by five. All right, I hit the enchanting table for a while and got efficiency four on here. Unbreaking doesn't matter. And I bought a silk touch book from my villager because we can do fortune four breaking with applied energistics. And I just want to put the hardening crystal on here. And now this thing should mine five by five by five. We'll save that test for the moon. So now we need to just go and get some dash. We've already traveled to the moon. I've got a waystone there. If you want to see that, check out the... Ah, ah. You need to wear a spacesuit when you go to the moon. It's not... That was not smart. Okay. Let's try that again. As I was saying, we have a waystone to the moon. Uh, we also need some oxygen. In our oxygen loader. All right, we've got a few oxygen tanks. Let's top things off, fill it up again. Now that we have a spacesuit on, we should be able to go to the moon safely. And like I was saying, if you want to check out how I got here, take a look at the last episode. Okay, let's take a look around. There's my rocket. What is this? Just ice shards falling from the sky? That's pretty cool. So somewhere nearby was a deep cavern that I'm hoping I can mine in. Here it is. And there's some dash right here. All right, here's dash. Okay, this hammer doesn't break this stuff properly. Okay, so we're just going to use this hammer to find this stuff. I have a silk touch pickaxe right here. All right, here's some more dash. Yeah, so I think this is going to be pretty easy. There's also these ice shard ore. And we're going to use ice shards later to make cryo fuel, I think. Okay, so the hammer breaks ice shards, but it does not break dash. Didn't work out quite as nicely as I was hoping, but yeah, it breaks ore, iron ore. It just doesn't break dash ore. On the hunt for more dash. So far, dash seems to appear mostly when it's exposure to the air. Seems we just need to go looking in caves. I'll check this out. See, this is what we're going to be potentially skipping if we rush through this. There are these moon dungeons. This is crazy. Wow. These things. Star crawlers. Pretty tough. Alright, I think if we explore this well enough, we'll find some dash deposits and chests with loot in them and some pretty good stuff. But I don't think we need it. Let's just get out of here. Our waystone is in here. Let's see if we've got enough dash. All right, we've got plenty of dash. Let's cook up a stack of it. We'll do that in our electric furnace. That's nice and fast. Time we get up here, we should be able to craft a tier two rocket. There we go, we've got all the stuff. Let's start, it's crafting these plates. Okay, do we get everything we need? Four fins, an engine, two tanks, tier two rocket. There we go, ready for Mars. Okay, we need buckets of fuel, a waystone. But let's put three in here. Maybe it takes three. Fill up our oxygen tanks. Since we're dealing so much with waystones, let's take a look at one more thing we can make out of our nether stars. I think I have one left. 
There's a pocket wormhole. That's made with another star and an abyss watcher. I've never used this before, but I think it might give us, just gives us access to all of our waystones. So this way we can just tunnel our way through Mars. We don't have to find our way out. Should we go to Mars? Let's go. I have this terrible feeling that I'm forgetting something. I leave the iron on. Okay, so now in our solar system, we can go to Mars, we can go to orbit, or the Mars space station. Every single planet has a space station. I think we'll skip that. Why am I being warned? I don't like that. Uh-oh. What is this thing? Martian Raptor. Although we just put a waystone down. Mars. All right, we just need to find, it seems like a promising location. Mars Iron Ore. Ostrom, this is what we're looking for. Silk touch it. More ice shards. Yeah, we just need to do some mining. Get this ostrom. Okay, thanks for our pocket wormhole. We can just run around here and not worry about getting lost. Let's just find all the ostrom we can. While we're getting stuff, let's take a look at the suits. So there's the netherite spacesuit that requires extra ostrom. So we're going to need extra ostrom and then the jet suit is made with calorite. Just gotta find more ostrom. Pretty easy though. To make sure these guys aren't breaking our spacesuits. Okay, with silk touch and with and with fortune four, I think we're gonna have plenty of ostrom. Let's just head back home. This way stones. Let's make it too easy. So I can just put this stuff directly in here like this for the Fortune 4 Annihilation Plans. Let's see how much Ostrom we're getting. All kinds of it. Plenty of Ostrom. Okay, let's hook up the Ostrom. Let's do this over here this time so we can put all of it in. And we'll just run all the Ostrom through the smelter. All right, now we can go make our Tier 3 rocket. Requiring 67, doing all the crafting for us. All right, it's all done. We'll cancel the job. The parts should all be in here. Same process, things in their spots. And we've got a tier three rocket. This one is, I think a little bit bigger. Okay, this time let's make some cryo fuel with the cryo freezer. That took 29 more Ostrom. And a lot of plates. It takes these plates a while to get compressed. There we go. Fry freezer. Let's see, where do we put this? I guess I can put it right up here, just like everything else, right? And we need some ice shards. Put these in here. And they turn into cryofuel. This is going to take a while. According to the book, cryofuel is more efficient. We can launch a rocket with just one bucket. Shift right click on the rocket. Put the cryofuel in here. Let's check our oxygen. And now we need to make these suits, right? Netherite suits. Use our netherite because we're going to Mercury next. Venus or Mercury, which are the hot planets. We need a better spacesuit. And also, as we go to Venus and Mercury, we're going to need the fire resistance of a netherite spacesuit. And just more protection, probably. Probably going to get into some bigger fights. Technically, with our a backpack, we have fire resistance. Our dragon backpack. All right, let's make this netherite gear, which I'm going to craft out of my existing netherite stuff. It keeps the enchantments, so that's cool. Very cool. Needed to craft one more dash plate for that. Netherite space helmet. Okay, lots of quests. 
Oh, and it looks like this suit holds twice the oxygen or, or more. So let's, that's good too. Upgrading is good, even though I have fire resistance from my backpack. We get two oxygen tanks. Oh, we don't have a waystone. A couple of waystones. Rocket's got the cryofuel in it. So now with this rocket, we should be able to go to either Venus and Mercury. And we're looking for Calorite. Let's go. Get this. Mercury, Venus. Well, let's go to each. Put waystones down. Oh, we're going down fast. Okay, we did it. What are these? This is like the nether, basically. Magma cubes with low gravity. Get put down our waystone, guys. This is not a nice place. What's this ore? Iron ore. Okay, waystone right here. Mercury. All right, same routine. Let's go find a cave after we mark our map. See anything good? Maybe to the north, these caves up here. Those look promising. Yes, it does. Let's do it. Let's go down here. Okay, we're looking for Calorite now. I don't know. I have a feeling this might be harder to find. Not seeing anything down here. Let's just go deep. What's this? Iron. Let's just try tunneling. Let's try bedrock. Maybe it's like diamonds. mining mercury pretty heavily here and I'm just not finding any calorite. Maybe it's here and I don't know what it looks like. I don't know, not finding anything. These are amazing caves though. Really amazing caves. Okay, well, should we go to Venus? Okay. Look at the sun on Mercury. So let's go back home and let's launch from here. Let's bring one more bucket of cryofuel just in case. Okay, we used up very little oxygen for that trip. We've got fuel, a waystone. Let's go. Okay, Venus, here we come. There's a lot of gravity on Venus also. This looks a little friendlier. Oh, maybe that warning is if you're going too fast. Venus is definitely better. Pretty cool space stations out here. Or whatever they are. All right, here we are on Venus. Let's just go check out these structures, see what they are. I assume they are villagers. No, they're not. These are space igros. Can't talk to them. I wonder if we can trade if they'll take gold. We need to try this. We can trade with these guys. What'll he give me? A spectral arrow. Seems to be the same loot table as piglins. Yep. Okay, moving on. What's this other structure? It's just another. Uh oh, yep, that makes him mad. I'm gonna take your diamonds though. Okay. They did not like that at all. Okay, we need to find a cave. Okay, does this seem like a reasonable cave to try out? I think so. Oh, what's this? Coal. Venus coal ore. Nope. All right. Lots of coal on Venus. What's this? Here we go. Calorite. Got a couple of them. Looks like Venus was the right move. This is what we need. Nice big cave. All right, here's some more. Just strip mining 125 blocks at a time. 
Venus is definitely better than Mercury. That is settled. What is this guy? Zombified pig row? These are <laughs> guys are really cool. What are these? Venus diamonds. Apparently Venus is a good place to find diamonds. I think we're getting close here. I think we've got just about enough calorite. Maybe we'll find one more bunch of it. Here we go. Venus mining is too lucrative. I can't go home. We'll find more diamonds. Ask and you shall receive. Wow. Jackpot. Definitely only coming back to Venus for diamonds. I like Venus. I hate Mercury. I like Venus. I am glad I went to Mercury first, just so I know. Don't think we'll be going back. All right, we're down to half oxygen. Let's head back home. Make a tier four rocket. So we got 40 diamond ores. I broke some of these with without silk touch, but I was using fortune four. Let's just see how many diamonds we have, 65. Put those in there. Over a hundred diamonds from that trip to Venus. Okay, let's smelt up all of the raw calorite. While that's doing that, we're going to make a jet suit, which needs charging. The Ad Astro way to do this is can be charged with an energizer by cl right clicking it with the jet suit. We're going to need a bunch of calorite. Hopefully we have enough. Wow, blocks, I think we do. And here's the energizer. We can carry it with us to charge our suit, but we have other technology, which is from the power mod, which is a player transmitter that allows us to wirelessly charge anything in our inventory. All right, let's make tier four rocket. We have everything we just need for this thing to go through the process of making some sheets. Okay, tier four rocket. Sky's the limit. That is a sweet looking rocket. Okay, jet suit. All right, well, that's embarrassing. I made the jet suit without recording, but basically it was just just a bunch of crafting of these things, just like before. So I guess we maybe saved us all a lot of time in watching that part of the video. I also got wireless charging going with this player transmitter from Pawa. And I had to make this player transmitter and make a binding card. I had to go to the end. It was, it was, a, whole, it was a whole video in itself. So maybe it's good that I'm cutting it out of this video. And we've got our tier four rocket. So that's dumb. But you know, that happens, right? But check this out. So this jet suit allows light. Oh my God, put them on. They also keep their enchantments when you keep upgrading the previous suits. So that's cool. So it's got two modes of flight. You hit space and it just lifts you up. It does not give you feather fallings. Hit control in space at the same time. It acts like a Lytra. Now I'm just gliding. Oh, you see in the upper right? My suit is staying charged thanks to the player charger from the power mod. We've got full oxygen. Our tanks are full. Our battery's full. We've got a waystone. I think we've got everything we need. Let's do it. Okay, we've got a new solar system here. Proxima Centuri, Glacio, Glacio. Yeah, so I guess that warning is when you're going too fast for landing. It took me a couple of planets to figure that out. Do not want to crash on the final descent. All right, here we are. What is that? Is that another planet? The moon? A moon? This is pretty amazing. Let's put down our waystone. All right, let's fly around. What are these guys? Glacial Rams. Hey, buddy.
kind of stuff do we have underground here? Copper. Copper and coal? Well, there's not much going on here on Glacio. I didn't find any structures or dungeons. We can take off our suit so we can breathe the air here, which I guess makes this a good backdrop for the Fallen Icon fight. Next episode.